All right, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, <laughs> welcome back to another League of Legends reaction. It is currently the eve of World's Final, which we are going to react to live on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV says Technic channel, in about three hours. But before I react to that, because we're going to be watching the whole thing, and I hope T1's going to win, because I love Pekka. But before we do that, we're going to be reacting to what League of Legends Riot Games just dropped on their YouTube channel, the Season 2024 Gameplay Teaser. Now, I actually saw this posted by another channel right before this got posted, and, and they said it was a leak, and I thought it was fake. I was like, this shit looks stupid, so I will admit I saw the first 10 seconds, but I was like, you know what? This might be real, and I stopped watching, and I'm glad I did. But with me today, it's not just going to be me today. Today, I have a special guest, a very, very special guest. The man who might even rival me at some points in time in League of Legends skill. And that man is the Holy Airline. Yo, it's me. Shout out to all the Kha'Zix mains out there. Oh, yeah. You know, we're oh, representing. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. So, Adrian, I have two questions for you. Mm -hmm. Number one, how's Kha'Zix doing in the meta right now? Um, He's all right. He's all right. Okay, okay. I wish the clear was a little bit better, but... All right, all right. And number two, not bad. do you think... What do you know about the new season? Well, let's just get that out the way. What do you know about the new season? Nothing. Nothing? I haven't really been keeping track on news. Yeah. I see. So you don't know anything of what they're doing? Nope. What okay, so... Yeah, I know a little bit. So they've explained some of it. I don't know if they're necessarily going to show it. I don't know how they could show it. But one of the big things that they're doing with the new season is... And obviously they changed the whole system. You know, they changed, like, preseason and stuff, how long it's lasting and everything, right? Mm-hmm. This is where now, like, there's no longer... Like, the season doesn't end in November or whatever. I think it goes the full year. Preseason is like two weeks now, like actually two weeks. Mm -hmm. Whereas before it was like you know all of November, all of December, and a little bit into the new year. But um, now it's just two weeks because they're like, this is stupid. It doesn't make sense. But I one agree. of the big things they're doing, which also didn't make sense, and they're finally fixing it, is they're getting rid of mythics. Believe it or not. Great, I agree. All right. That shit was stupid. I think so too. I think they ruined AD. I, I never had an issue with Mythics until it became a problem for the ADC role, which was when they made it so you couldn't build IE and anything else you wanted. And that was the stupidest change ever. Yeah. But regardless of that, in terms of actual gameplay, I honestly don't know what they're doing because every year they try and like theme it around some big sort of change. But last year they kind of just sprinkled a little bit of everything they did like a little bit with the dragons a little bit with objectives a little bit with gold a little bit with the map it's like they didn't have like a unifying goal that they did with preseason where they usually do and i think that made it kind of like a wet fart where it just came out and i was like oh okay everything's slightly more new but there's no like big hype change so i'm more of the mentality i hope they're going to change something pretty big and i i hope the item change is not what they're talking about but I guess we're going to see. What, what, what are you on the side of? Do you want more like one big holistic change or like one big hype change or like just them updating sort of everything to moderate levels? Uh, I, I think I prefer one big change, actually. Yeah, like something unique. Uh, I don't really know what to change. Like in terms of ideas, like I've got none, but it would be cool <laughs> to see something shake up like the whole system. Yeah, like the biggest change changes like that in the past were like, the first one was the big map change. Like, when they redid the map, that was, like, a huge mm -hmm. change. Then after... And it's not to say that was the only change, but that was, like, the big sweeping. And then after mm -hmm. they redid the map, it was the Elemental Dragons. Because yeah. the year after, they were like, all right, we got to rework this. They reworked all the Elemental Dragons, added the two new ones. And mm -hmm. then they removed Chemtech for half a year because it was so busted. But, um, you know, you know, works in progress. But... I'm glad that you're with me, that we want the big sweeping change. So let, let's see what we're going to have here. Let, let's see what's going on in the teaser for 2024, because God knows when the patch notes comes out for this, I'm going to be spending two hours on it. I think every preseason patch to come out, I spent at least two hours on it. Damn. 
you were very studious. Of course, of course. I'm I'm the best League of Legends player in the world. You know, a League of Legends scholar. Exactly. They should have you in like a documentary about League. You know, like Poro Professor. I'm the Poro yeah. Professor. I'm oh. like Rise with the Runes, essentially. Shit. Yeah. That's cool. And you could figure it out too if you watch Twitch TV slash Technics channel. Very informative. Wow, I think I'll check that out. I know, I know. I, I, I was surprised I didn't do it sooner. Anyway, let's see what's going on in season 2024. Oh shit, there's Zeri, the problematic champion. Hey, Zeri's not new. Yeah, she's not new. That's new, what is that? Okay. I thought that was a new champion at first. Ew, it's little ball sacks. Okay, Harold yeah, looking kind of different. Now. Oh, Harold can like fuck you up. And it eats Wait, Harold was Renekton. Renekton turned into the Harold. Like bopped it. Everything is void. No, the crab, the rat. Dude, everything looks evil. Yeah, wait, what is that little thing? Wait, he just stole it. Oh, Cassante? Man. Wait, that's cool. wait, that's new in is that mid? Wait, what the fuck? Whoa, Things what? Dragon now. They, like, changed up the wait, you saw the pathways to the lanes? What? Oh shit! I think they're that's updating the map again. Yeah, I mean that's the okay, teaser, yeah. but the map update. Damn. I wonder how that's gonna impact the Earth Dragon, right? Because doesn't the Earth Dragon yeah. change the map? I was I was about to say that because it looks like, like unless they rework the Earth Dragon, which they can easily do, they could just say like, oh, this is like the Earth Dragon's not gonna change the map that much or something. But mm -hmm. they could definitely find a way around it. But look at this shit! You literally have free access to just tower diving now. That is actually insane. Now that I think of it, yeah. like if if you're low and you back under tower, you're you're not safe as you were. Like you gotta yeah, everyone, be careful. Everyone needs to back at tier two now. Yeah, and look, there's a bush literally right here. Like yeah, they showed the Rengar gank earlier. That yeah, oh, and, and look who it was on. Look who was on the AD. Yeah. Like bro, where did he jump from? He jumped from that tri brush over there. I think he was ulting. I think it was ulting. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yo, like, look at this shit, though. What the fuck happened? So the 80s are still safe. Like, Rengar can't jump that far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know what it is? There's no more, like, elevation here. You see, it's like a slope now, where that tri brush is. Remember where it's, like, usually you have to jump off using the blast counters? Yeah. You can just walk through. Yeah, so they're, they're, ch they're probably going to change that, too, then. Holy shit. But now they that means, like, dashes are not as critical anymore. Yeah, they're not you know as... Mean? Make or break which i think is a fight. good thing because yeah, like, we're having everyone break. and their mom has a dash yeah you know what I mean? yeah so it's like the yeah. only two counters you know I mean? to that we had was vex and poppy yeah so like making them less effective and like traveling around summoner's rift would probably be like a good change i think yeah i mean i don't it's think not... it's a big buff to yeah, like i don't think so either it's like a very but it helps but i think it's a good change yeah, yeah. it helps yeah because like it, like it really sucks when you're a champion that can't jump over walls and like you have yeah, people like trying fucking, to get somewhere. Yeah, like LeBlanc who can do it twice. Exactly. Yeah. Like breaking your ankles. <laughs> you have to flash. Yeah, exactly. He flash, you jump, you do whatever, and then it's like you're out of jumps. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. It's, and AD's it's literally Dude, it's crazy. AD's literally had to build a specific item to be safer, which was Gale Force, but you mm -hmm. sacrifice damage for it because you have to choose between better damage options. And it was so good because it was so needed. That they nerfed it so bad it's like why would you even get it now you get it because it's a crutch you have to get it but they made it one of the worst options to get but you're only getting it because of the active most of the time it's terrible mm -hmm. like the ed roll is so terrible i'm so glad they're removing the item mythics like it's so dumb they power cut yeah. so much shit. but in terms of like the gameplay stuff what did, what did you think of like the baron like like tumors like you saw like, what do you look at this elder toy this actually looks like creepier than the old creepy. baron yeah i don't like it, it. like hands. wasn't Harold supposed to be cute like that was the yeah. whole thing right look at this shit this oh. actually looks like crazy now what the fuck yeah i think baron can look creepy i guess that's okay but like i'm like actually you... more scared of this this looks like legit an elder horror now does it this mean hands. that there's gonna be no more like soloing baron they're gonna actually make baron strong well, they already started doing that. They made Baron healthier to where it takes longer as a team, but I feel like certain people will always be able to solo Baron. Like yeah. Yi, Belveth. I think Briar is a good candidate. Yeah, Briar could do it too. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a while, but like they mm -hmm. could do it. But yo, this Baron looks fucking sick. Like This actually looks ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. What do you great. think of the new Herald, too? The new Herald looks a little weird. I, kind of, uh, I don't like the new Herald. Well, this is... 
I kind of like these guys. <laughs> the new Herald is slightly the same, but... New Herald's not as cute anymore. Yeah, like, look, you can... I, I feel like now when you use Rift Herald, you turn into the Herald, you smash, and then you become normal. Like, look, he was he was in it, with it. Yeah, and it summoned little it summoned things. summoned little too. things, yeah. Little, 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 little Zuzerots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. But, um, damn, and that's just fucking getting killed by his brother, lore-wise. Um... Yeah, this is interesting. I, I like this. I like this, mm -hmm. though. It, I don't know if it's good or not, but it's a change. I feel like this is a, a change. Mm -hmm. A good change, too. Well, not good, but, like, meaningful. Like, it's impact. We're going to notice it. We're going to notice yeah. this change. I like this. I like this a lot. One thing, though, I want to bring up, and I know you don't really follow this, so it, it might not really, you know, remind you of anything, but this might be hinting at the next big event in league so you know how every year they have like the one big big event where it's like they either have like the stupid comic thing in the client or like the the dating sim or whatever mm -hmm. like the first one was spirit blossom then after that i think it was ruination which was a big flop and then after that it was star guardian like they always have that one big event of the year for a while now they've been trying to push the league lore forward and a lot of people have been like theorizing that it's going to be a void event and they thought last year that's what it was going to be and it wasn't it was fucking star guardian or soul fighter i think it was soul fighter actually for this year but um i think we're due for a void event because the void is like a big thing in the lore so i think they're going to tie it in with the game finally where it's like yeah. we're going to have a void shit because look at all this shit they updated baron everything is voidified like this is when they should have released Belveth, honestly. I don't know why they did it so early. Yeah, but... I was going to mention that. I think when they mentioned Belveth's release, they were talking about like some sort of event. And like that's when they started talking about the lore, right? Like, yeah. When Belveth was coming out. Yeah, so kind of. makes sense, like the Void stuff. Because they had all the all the cinematics, too, with like Talia and all those other people fighting like the Void shit. Yeah, The only Kaisa. reason I remember is because Talia was there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, that's funny. Yeah, I think they're definitely leaning towards like a void thing because it was it was so heavily teased too. But I think this might hopefully further confirm it, and I hope it's good because mm -hmm. I fucking love the void. The void is so good. Cool. So all void champions get like plus ten percent damage. Yes. Yes. Right so so start maining voids. Yeah. Wait. Ka Ka no. No. Mm -hmm. Belveth. Belveth. But anyway, that was pretty good. I, I'm excited. I, I think this is gonna shake things up. Hopefully, it's better. I hope they don't pull a classic right where it's like, okay, now all the items are like decent. Like we're not complaining about the items. Now we're complaining about the map. Now they ruin the map. I don't want them to fix one thing to break another. Like, I feel like that's what usually happens with League. Mm -hmm. But anyway, overall, I think this is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm especially looking forward to it on Twitch TV slash Technics channel. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. Any closing thoughts, Hairline? Um... More void champions. In All right. The future, maybe. We'll hopefully, see. hopefully, hopefully they rework Kogma. Anyway, we hope everyone True. enjoyed. Exactly. We hope everyone enjoyed, and we hope to see you on Twitch TV slash Technics channel.